Hi, I'm Todd Wood. I'm president of Core Academy of Science, an organization interested in a creationist understanding of the world. And I'm very interested in the creationist understanding of hominin fossils, and this is Fossil Focus. So on this Fossil Focus, I want to talk about something, not exactly about a particular fossil, it's more about uh, a phenomenon associated with Neanderthals. And I want to know, I want to think about burial. Now, I'm going to confess right up front, I think there's lots of evidence from other things about Neanderthals that they are, in fact, human. So I'm going to be pretty sympathetic to claims of Neanderthal burial. I want to believe that. Uh, so I'm just putting my bias out there on the table so you can decide whether you want to actually believe what I have to say or not. Up to you. Why is burial matter? Why, is, why do we care? Why do I care? Well, the, the idea that concern for an individual and care for an individual would surpass their death um, so that people who knew or individuals who knew the individual that died would show some kind of care or compassion after death. That, to me, is a very, not entirely human, but it's a very human ingredient um, to our behavior. Uh, now, as I said, that's not, it's not uniquely human, but the way we treat our dead by, by burying them, oftentimes with trinkets or tools or sometimes even more elaborate things, more elaborate treatments of the dead. Think about Egyptian mummies. Those sorts of things all are uniquely human. The kind of elaborate, what they call mortuary rituals, are uniquely associated with humans. So we come to Neanderthals, and the question is, what do we find with Neanderthals? Do they actually bury their dead? And the answer is, there are a number of places that are supposed to be Neanderthal burial sites, graves. Uh, and I have here today, for our focus, this is uh, the skull of a skeleton that was found in 1908 uh, outside of a tiny village in France called La chapelle uh, The Neanderthal there, uh, you can see sort of the classic Neanderthal characteristics, including the uh, protruding face here. This, this part of the face is pulled out a bit and protrudes quite a bit more than ours. We have a sloped uh, chin here so that there isn't any sort of protrusion like we have on our chins in the modern world. We have a pretty heavy brow ridge, which is kind of typical of hominins in the fossil record. And we have this low forehead and sort of a flat topped skull, where we have a giant forehead here. Uh, the Neanderthals sort of slope it back. Also in the back, you have this sort of protrusion back here, which is called the occipital bun. Um, and in fact, what that ends up doing is creating a, a, a cavity for the brain that is slightly larger on average than our own here in the modern world. So this is. LCS1, La Chapelle Usson, number one, also called the Old Man of La Chapelle. Okay, so the question is, was the old man buried, or is there some other explanation for how his remains came to be found? So to answer that, we're going to have to take a look at the circumstances of his discovery. He was found by a pair of French brothers who were looking for archaeological remains, uh, and he was found in a cave just outside of the village, as I mentioned. The cave isn't much of a cave. It's sort of the entrance to a cave. Uh, and in the cave, uh, it's just a little, tiny little opening on the side of a hill. And in the cave, as they dug down, uh, they found several different kinds of sediments as they dug. So there were distinct layers of sediments. Throughout, they found cobbles of the roof that had fallen in to the sediments. And then at the bottom uh, of their excavation, they found what appeared to be a distinct pit. And in the pit was the skeletal remains of LCS-1. That actually sounds pretty good. You have 
skeletal remains of an individual in an identifiable pit inside of a cave. The cave had plenty of stone tools and remains of uh, animals that had probably been hunted and killed. So it was clearly in use, probably by Neanderthals. The stone tools that were found were associated with Neanderthal remains. So it's quite possible that the remains, uh, this, this, these Neanderthal remains would indicate usage and therefore it seems likely that they might have left one of their uh, tribe members or family members in the cave as a burial. Why would we not think that it was a burial? It sounds pretty good, right? Well, there's a couple reasons that we might be skeptical of this. So one reason is that it's hard to know given the circumstances of the cave, it's hard to know if any of those stone tools or other implements that, we've, that were reported to be discovered with the body were in fact intended to be associated with the dead body. Um, so that's a question. Another question, the, the skeleton wasn't entirely complete. It was fairly complete, but there were elements that were missing. Now, more modern research on the skeleton has discovered additional elements. They recovered from the same cave. Um, and they emphasize that the preservation of the, the, the skeleton was very good, extremely good, um, which implied that it was, not, it was not the result of a predator. No, probably an animal didn't just drag it in there and leave it and forget about it. Um, but then again, where did these other skeletal pieces go? There's quite a number of them that were missing. If it's so pristinely preserved, then why don't we have more of the skeleton? And you might imagine that some of the elements um, decayed away as part of the decomposition process. Or you can imagine that maybe they were removed by some other creature, even though the other bones don't show, show signs of um, disturbance by predators. Uh, but ultimately, it, it, it basically comes down to we have a body of a Neanderthal in a location. The depression in which he was found does not appear to be uh, unnaturally dug. It appears to be just a depression that was in the ground. Uh, at least there are no signs of digging in the area. And so can we tell for sure that this was a burial or was this something where a Neanderthal was dragged into a cave after he, was, after he was dead? And as I said, I'm biased, of course. I tend to think that given the frequency with which skeletons are found so well preserved in these sorts of circumstances, caves and whatnot, uh, where the bodies tend to be laid next to each other, that to me speaks of... Uh, treatment of the dead in a respectful way uh, and burial and not just uh, animals that got dragged into a cave somewhere. Um, but the research is ongoing and I'm looking forward to seeing more of it in the future, more studies of Neanderthal burial practices. So check out our website, coursei.org or humangenesis.org for more information. Follow us on social media, and if you feel led, please feel free to give us a little donation to keep these kinds of videos coming to you. Thanks so much.